Welcome to our midweek pause for prayer for this Easter week. Easter is such a joyful time of celebration of new hope and possibility. And the theme of our service today looks back at that first Easter Sunday morning and the joyful discovery by the women at the tomb of Christ's resurrection. Alleluia! Jesus, our risen Saviour, has overcome sin and death. Compassionate God, as you know each star you have created, so you know the secrets of every heart. In your loving mercy, bring to your table all who are fearful and broken, all who are wounded and needy, that our hungers may be satisfied in the eternal city of your great peace. Amen. The reading is from Matthew, chapter 28, beginning at Verse first. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Christ is risen. Alleluia. I greet you all and just want to say it's very special to be connected with you and to you all in this way. As I've been reflecting on the account of the resurrection in Matthew's Gospel, I have found myself more and more clinging to the words which the angel spoke to Mary and the woman outside of the tomb on that first Easter morning. Do not be afraid. He is not here. He has been raised from the dead and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. He is not here. So if we want to see Jesus, that means we have to leave the tomb. We have to leave the tomb and follow him as he has gone on ahead. Already he waits for us in Galilee. Galilee, the the place of new beginnings. Being isolated, experiencing still the anxiety, the challenges of lockdown, I really need to believe that there will be new beginnings, new opportunities where I and we all will be challenged to do things differently challenged to change how we think and challenged on how we operate. And just where Galilee is for us, just what those new beginnings will be for each one of us will be different. It could, for example, be in our work environment where post COVID-19, 
a new approach to how we do things is going to be necessary. Or it could be the church. How do we do church in the future? Well, those priorities which we have spent our whole life setting in order. Perhaps that is where we need to make a new beginning. And the list of possibilities, of course, is endless. But wherever and whatever they are, I believe the resurrection story reminds us that Jesus is already there, beckoning us, calling us to, to come and to make our new beginnings where he is. And so my prayer in this Easter tide is that we would very carefully try to hear, try to trust and try to follow the words of the story. He is not here. He is resurrected and is going ahead of you to Galilee. Amen. And may God bless you and those whom you love this Easter and always. Alleluia. Risen Lord, we greet you with joy this Easter. We give thanks for the hope and new life we have in you through your death and resurrection. We thank you for families and friends, for kindness and community. Bring peace to those who are alone. Bring comfort to those who are ill and those who love them. Bring strength to those who work and care for our community. Bring faith in our leaders as scientists and hope and healing to our world. Help us to celebrate the springtime in our hearts as we rejoice in the glorious news of Easter. And may our lives reflect the glory and hope you have bestowed upon us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned and the way to life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. God, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.